Hello, welcome to this video. So, this is a video of the tattoos that I have that I regret getting for many different reasons. Okay, we're just gonna start off with my wrists because they're right here. Okay, so we'll start off with this one. This is a Bethlehem star and this was my first ever tattoo. I don't dislike the tattoo itself. I wish I got it in a different location though because I thought that my wrist would be a very hidden place because it's the back of my wrist. No, it's just hidden to me. Everyone else sees it. If I wanted it to be really hidden, the wrist is not the area to go to. So I wish I got this maybe on the back of my upper arm or maybe on like my rib cage or something because I don't think I want to be really visibly tattooed. And uh, yeah, I really just thought that this would be a super inconspicuous tattoo. It isn't at all. <laughs> like everyone sees your wrists when you're moving and doing things. Also, it started off super, super skinny. It wasn't that noticeable when I first got it, but I've had it for about, has it been three years? Wow, it's been three years. I've had it for about three years now and it's gotten significantly thicker than when I got it. And I knew when I got my first tattoo that tattoos spread. I just didn't think that this one would spread for some reason. I don't know, I thought I was special or something. No, it spread. It's kind of thicker than I wanted it to be. Okay, now we move on to this wrist. This is a flower. It is a flower that I saw on Pinterest. The only reason I got this flower was because me and my birth sister were getting matching Morse code tattoos. That's this tattoo. She got a tattoo, a Morse code tattoo that said big for big sis. And I got a Morse code tattoo that says Lil for Lil Sis. Now the shop that we went to had a $90 minimum. So it was either I pay $90 for a couple dots on my finger or I can get like a little something else in there and it would be the same price. So I had been looking at this cute little flower tattoo on Pinterest for a while. So I was like, I'll just get that with my dots. Now when I first got this done, it did not have the petals on it. It was just a flower like that. So I got it done. My birth sister got her Morse code tattoo done. We get back to her home and yeah, I'm just admiring my tattoo. And then I noticed when you flip it upside down, when it doesn't have the petals, it just looks like a used tampon. Like on a tampon commercial, when they show you the tampons like spread out, swinging around, like it's like a little dress floofing out. It looked like a used tampon or like a tampon dipped in water or something. So the next day I went back to the shop and I was like, hey, can you just put these petals on it? So it's like very clearly a flower because when I'm standing and I have my arm by my side like this, it just looks like a used tampon. And similar to this one, it spread out and got super thick. So it looked nothing like the dainty little single needle flowy flower that I saw on Pinterest. This was such a stupid tattoo and they're both on my wrist. And people will be like, what's that tattoo of? And I'll be like, oh, this one, this is a Bethlehem star. Cause I was born in Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. And they'll be like, no, the other one. And I'm like, oh, you mean my used tampon one? Just a flower. Okay, my third tattoo that I regret, the Morse code one. Yeah, me and my birth sister don't talk anymore. There's no point in me having this. She also has hers with a big lion on her arm and it's much thicker than mine. So she kind of got the worst end. Yeah, kind of awkward. My fourth tattoo that I regret, this one's embarrassing. And anytime I have a picture on my Instagram with this tattoo in it, I Photoshop it to have a dot above the E because this says illegitimi non carborundum, which means don't let the bastards grind you down in Latin. However, illegitimi, this word right here is spelt wrong. This E right here is supposed to be an I. So it's kind of a simple fix. I mean, I know the E doesn't look like the eyes, but if I put a dot above it, it'll kind of just look like a curly eye. So it's not that big of a deal. It's not spelt so wrong that it's not salvageable but it's definitely spelt wrong. I didn't notice this for about six months until after I got it done, because when I got it done, I walked into the shop and I was like, yeah, I want this phrase written on my rib cage in this font. And the artist was like, okay, here, you're gonna write it on this piece of paper so I don't fuck it up. And then I'm tattooing what you write on you. And I was like, bet. So I opened Google, I Googled the phrase to make sure I had the right phrase. I know that I was copying the right phrase, I wrote it down on the paper. Here's where things get blurry. 
I don't know if I just copied it wrong because I was nervous to get a rib cage tattoo or if he copied it wrong while typing up the font and then I just didn't notice, but I didn't notice it was spelled wrong till six months later when somebody on my meme Instagram account was like, I know that's not Italian because I speak Italian, but that's also not Spanish. What is that supposed to say? And I was like, oh, it means don't let the bastards grind you down in Latin. And they were like, yeah, bitch, you're stupid. It's spelled wrong. And I was like, no, it's not. I Googled this when I got it done and wrote it down. And then I Googled it again. And I was like, no. <laughs> so while I don't hate the tattoo itself, I'm not mad at the actual tattoo because it was my grandfather's favorite quote. And uh, my dad's side of the family, they all like take Latin and like my little sister's taking Latin. Like Latin is just kind of the Newman side of the family vibe. And it's kind of just a nice little thing to remember my grandfather. It's a great quote and it's not actually vulgar because it's in Latin. Like no, it's not in English. I don't have the word bastards written on me. So I don't hate the tattoo itself, but it is spelled wrong. So whenever I get my next tattoo, I'm just gonna have them put a little dot above the E to make it into an I. And yeah, pretty embarrassing. Okay, my fifth tattoo regret is this one. Now this just says 2000, it's my birth year. I got this, me and my friend both got this same tattoo tattooed on our rib cages. Little friendship thing, we have the same tattoo. I don't talk to her anymore. <laughs> We're like not really friends anymore. <laughs> also, she ended up being a Trump supporter, so that's kind of awkward. I realized that both of my matching tattoos are with Trump supporters. I'm not that mad at my 2000 tattoo. I just wish I had saved the space for something better. Okay, the six tattoos I regret, I'm really, I'm gonna show you it in a glimpse because I don't want anybody being able to actually see focus in on what it actually looks like because it looks so bad. Um, this one's kind of like a three in one. So this, this, and this. All on my fingers, all highly visible. People will be like, what's that on your finger? And I'm like, no, we're not getting into it. All of these I did myself with a tattoo needle that I got from Amazon. Don't do that. They're stick and pokes done by me. One of them, okay. I'll show you the one that I'm not that mad at that I wouldn't mind being on my finger if it was just this, this one. Now. It's a stick and poke, so obviously it's really patchy and has lost the ink in a lot of places, but I'm not that mad at that one. I don't mind a little ugly tattoo on my finger if it was just this, but then I have this thing above it, which my dog's name, she's dead now, but her name was Ruby, and I tried to make a little Ruby gemstone. However, the black ink kind of just smushed into the gemstone and kind of just covers up the color of red. So it just looks like a black fucking blob on my finger. Doesn't look like a ruby at all. This one says 141st, which is for 141st Street in Ocean City, where me and my friends stayed during senior week. Me, one of my friends, the same one that I have the 2000 tattoo with, and another one of my friends who I'm also not friends with anymore, although she's not a Trump supporter, so I'll give her credit for that. We all have this tattooed on our fingers, done by me. And the last one is just a little 410, 410, because I'm from Baltimore, Maryland, and that's like 410 is the telephone area code, one of the telephone area codes for Maryland. And yeah, you'll just see people from Maryland with like tattoos of 410. This one I literally just did to practice stick and poke on myself, like literally no thought. I was like, oh, I wanna stick and poke myself. Let me just like, just let me just write that. I wouldn't mind a decently done 410 tattoo, but this is not decently done. It's just on my finger. So yes, those are all the tattoos that I regret. I don't regret only one of my tattoos. And that is my little butterfly because it was done not by me. It was done by a professional and it was my first really big tattoo. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed listening to my regrets in life. I hope this brought you to peace with some of your decisions that you regret. You're not alone. We all do dumb shit. Some of us are just really impulsive and get hyper-focused on certain things for a couple months period at a time. And mine just happened to be with tattoos and not a great, not a great thing for me, but at least you can laugh at me. So yeah, that was the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed. Please subscribe if you like my videos. I also have another video up on all about my butterfly sternum tattoo if you're interested in more tattoo videos. 
Hopefully I'll be getting more tattoos in the future and I can talk about more tattoo stuff. Let me know your biggest tattoo regrets. We can laugh together at ourselves. And yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching.